Look at all these coins going into the piggy bank. But wait, how much money is it? Let's learn all about counting coins and dollars. Before we count, we need to know what each coin is. Let's meet the coins. This is a penny. It's worth one cent. And we can write that in three different ways. First, there's standard form. One cent. This symbol has a C with a line through it. It stands for cents, which means money less than a dollar. Second, there's decimal form. One cent. We use a dollar sign and a decimal point. Third, there's the written form. We can also write it out as one cent with letters. This is a nickel. It's worth five cents. That's five pennies. Ways to write it. Standard form. Five cents. Decimal form. Five cents. Written form, five cents. This is a dime. It's worth 10 cents, but it's the smallest coin. Ways to write it. Standard form. 10 cents. Decimal form. 10 cents. Written form. 10 cents. This is a quarter. It's worth 25 cents. That's five nickels or two dimes and a nickel. Ways to write it. Standard form. 25 cents. Decimal form. 25 cents. Written form. 25 cents. There are even bigger coins that you don't see every day. This is the half dollar. It's worth 50 cents, which is half of a dollar. Ways to write it. Standard form. 50 cents. Decimal form. 50 cents. Written form. 50 cents. This is the dollar coin. It's worth one dollar just like a paper dollar. Ways to write it. Standard form. One dollar. Decimal form. One dollar. Written form. One dollar. Now that we know each coin's value, let's add them up. Each coin represents a number, and we add them together to find the total amount. We always start with the coin that's worth the most and count up. Let's arrange the coins from the highest value to the lowest. Remember, the biggest coin isn't always worth the most. Focus on the amount of money each coin represents. Let's count the money from the piggy bank. Start with the quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents, so we start with 25. Next, we have a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. So let's add 25 plus 10. 35. Now, let's add a nickel. A nickel is worth 5 cents. Add 35 plus 5. 40. Last, we have two pennies. Each penny is worth one cent. Add 40 plus 1 to get 41. Now let's add 41 plus 1 to get 42 cents. When we add the value of all the coins together, we get 42 cents in total. Now that we've learned about coins, let's talk about paper money. Just like coins, each dollar bill has a value. Some are worth one dollar, while others are worth five, ten, or even more. Let's meet the different dollar bills and see how much they're worth. This is a one dollar bill. It's worth one dollar. Ways to write it. Standard form. One dollar. Decimal form. One dollar. Written form. One dollar. This is a two dollar bill. It's worth two dollars. Ways to write it. Standard form. Two dollars. Decimal form. Two dollars. Written form. Two dollars. Next, we have a five dollar bill. It's worth five dollars. Ways to write it. Standard form. Five dollars. Decimal form. Five dollars. Written form. Five dollars. Here's a ten dollar bill. It's worth ten dollars. Ways to write it. Standard form. 
$10. Decimal form, $10. Written form, $10. This is a $20 bill. It's worth $20. Ways to write it. Standard form, $20. Decimal form, $20. Written form, $20. This is a $50 bill. It's worth $50. Ways to write it. Standard form. $50. Decimal form. $50. Written form. $50. And finally, we have the biggest bill most people use, the $100 bill. It's worth $100. Ways to write it. Standard form. $100. Decimal form. $100. Written form. $100. Now that we know the value of dollar bills, let's see how we can add them together. We have these bills, a $5 bill, $20 bill, and a $10 bill. Let's add the bills together to see how much money we have. First, let's arrange the bills from the largest amount to the smallest. The biggest is the $20 bill, then the $10 bill, and last, the $5 bill. Let's start with 20. Next is the $10 bill. So let's add 20 plus 10, 30. Last is the $5 bill. Let's add 30 plus 5, 35. When we add all the bills together, the total is $35. Now, let's try adding bills and coins. Here, we have a $10 bill and some coins. Let's find out how much money we have in total. First, we arrange the money from largest to smallest. We start with the $10 bill. So far, we have $10. Now, let's add the coins. We can group the same coins together to make counting easier. We have three quarters. Let's add 25 plus 25 plus 25. That equals 75 cents. Now, let's add the $10 and 75 cents together. $10 plus 75 cents equals $10 and 75 cents. Next, let's add three dimes. A dime is worth 10 cents. Let's count as we add each one. 75 cents plus 10 cents equals 85 cents. 85 cents plus 10 cents equals 95 cents. 95 cents plus 10 cents equals 105 cents. Wait. When we reach 100 cents, that's the same as $1. Instead of writing 105 cents, we move the $1 to the dollar side. Now, we add $1 to $10, which makes $11. That leaves 5 cents left. So now we have $11.05. Last, let's add two nickels. A nickel is 5 cents. 5 plus 5 is 10. So, the two nickels make 10 cents. Let's add $11.05 plus 10 cents. The total amount is $11.15. Great work, you've learned how to count money. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more It's Easy with Twinkle videos.